Hello and welcome back to Becky's House of Sewing. I am Becky. This is my house of sewing, uh, though I'm officially in my sewing room. Uh, vacation week. I have uh, some purchases, some haul. Um, I have some updates on uh, whips and I have a finish. That's right. I started this uh, podcast out with, um, with a finish. I've had another finish with Roxy, and now I'm having my third finish. So exciting. Um, so first, let's just give a quick update on where we are, because it is vacation week. Um, most of my plans have been canceled. Not always a bad thing, but it has been a little bit of a, a emotional roller coaster, shall we say. Um, a slight COVID... Um, um, scare in our house, kind of, I guess, is what you want to call it. Uh, I showed a, a few symptoms. My, <coughs> excuse me, cough symptom. Um, but we both tested negative on Monday because I was showing some symptoms. I am to test again tomorrow. We're waiting for our PCR results to come back, which should also be tomorrow. So hopefully we have the free and clear. But of course, that was just in the right amount of time frame to ruin the plans I talked about last week. So, um, what's a girl to do but stay up late and sew? So that's kind of what my vacation has been. Um, I think I'll just watch one more episode of NCIS and then all of a sudden it's like two o'clock in the morning. How does that happen? I don't know. But it's been fun. I'll watch some movies, drank a lot of tea, hot tea. Um, so it's been a good vacation overall, uh, even if I haven't felt the greatest because of the headache, um, and had a little frustration with getting groceries delivered and blah, 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 blah. So anyway, then last night we had a little Buster Brown scare. He had some kind of seizure or something like that. So he's okay. Uh, Ron, he's okay. Um, but, uh, it was, you know, kind of a five minute scare. He's totally back to normal. So we'll just keep an eye on him on that. He is 13 for heaven's sakes. Um, so I'm sure it's just a sign of old age and we'll keep an eye on him, but he is his normal whining, crying, feed me or put me to bed scenario. So I think we're all okay. Um, so let's jump into some haul while we can. Um, my good friend Abby, who I spoke about a couple weeks ago, um, sent me a gift from the Snarky Crafter. So right there, it almost doesn't matter what I get sent. Uh, the Snarky Crafter is, uh, it's like the epitome. It's the perfection. Perfection, I tell you. Um, so I immediately enjoyed the needle minder I got it was a little round one that says, uh, be forewarned, I have the patience to stab things 4,000 times with a needle. Something along those lines. I've, I'm sure you've seen those kinds of things before, which always make me giggle and smile. So, I immediately went to their website and started shopping. Got a couple things. So, here's my first one. Crafty. Isn't that cute? Little swallow. I'm trying to keep it focused. Keep it focused, people. Uh, so got that needle minder, really super strong. And then I got some of the. She sells the backs, sells these little guys. Um, and somewhere along the line, I have some sew tights. And I had used the back of one of the sew tights for another needle minder because I like it better and it's the same type of backing. Um, <clears throat> and now I don't know where the other back for the other needle minder is. So getting the extra backs is a is a good thing. And take a little sip of water. Then you may recall, I was very excited about having a sew day with some of my coworkers who want to learn how to uh, cross stitch. So we were playing to meet <clears throat> in a place that tends to be a little darker, a coffee house, so it's a little darker. So 
went on Amazon to see what I could find as far as a travel light. Found a light that I thought was a travel light. It's a plug-in light. Am I going to return it? No. Do I really need it? Kind of, but I think I can definitely find out. I've, I've figured out where it could live in my life. So um, let me show it to you. It's cute. It's not light. Look how cute that is. Um, it has a magnifying glass, which is what I like about it. So that magnifying glass can go, go away. And then it folds up. And you have a handle to carry it around. It moves around. Uh, this base swivels. So you can get it in the right direction. And it comes in several fun colors. I chose turquoise. <clears throat> My mother would cho choose red. But I wanted a bright color. I didn't want to do orange for whatever reason. No, no good reason. So, um, again, I was disappointed because <clears throat> I wanted it to be rechargeable. And I just didn't pay close enough attention. And, um, but then I let it sit there for a couple of days to let it think about what it's done all its life and decided to keep it. I'm sure that's not really shocking to anybody. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is I had ordered around Black Friday, I had ordered from the Missouri Star. Um, and I wanted, again, to deal with this quilt. So I was like, because I, I don't know if I remember telling you guys, I, I, I bought the additional fabric and then immediately cut it incorrectly. And now I don't have more of that fabric. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. So I decided to keep it the way it is. I figured out um, the math on the sawtooth squares. And so I just need to continue to cut them out. And I decided that I would just get some additional borders. Um, so I bought Kona, Kona eggshell. See, isn't that a nice match? That'll look nice, right? Um, and I bought enough to, of course, have some extra. And then um, to play around with borders, maybe a back, maybe binding. Maybe I'll do the whole thing. Who knows? I'm only obligated to do the top, but I might just go the extra mile on this one. I don't know. We'll see how much I enjoy doing it. And then um, I do have a rotating cutting mat. Um, it's 16 inch square by Ulfa, um, which I'm sure you guys have uh, seen before. But uh, Su the Sue Daly um, rotating mat, I've been intrigued with for a long time. And really, I wanted something smaller so I bought it. I mean, I had to get to free shipping, right? So, um, I've already played with it and there's a couple things I love about it already. So the first thing about the Ulfa mat that I have is that it's really thin. So it's, it's low to the table. The problem with that is that when you go to rotate it, you really need to have so much extra room clear in order for it to rotate properly without it hitting anything. I don't know if you know me well enough yet. Um, I always have a lot of stuff around. Um, I will clean up and then make a mess again. And sometimes I don't want to clean up all the mess. Um, I just need to clean up a little section so I can work. Um, so that's this, this fits my lifestyle a little bit more. And I really like it. I like the pink because um, it's a different color than most of my fabric. Um, it cuts nicely. It is a self-healing mat, although it doesn't really feel that cushy like one. Um, and again, it's a little higher up. It's a good inch off the table. So it makes it easy to rotate and keep your ruler that may be longer than this. And it, the ruler wouldn't hit the pile of fabric I have on the other side of the area I'm working on or, you know, whatever. Um, and the other small thing I added was a titanium rotary blade for my 60 millimeter 
um, Ulfa cutter, rotary cutter, which uh, meets my mother's qualifications of always buy the big one. Um, I love the 60 inch. I love the, here, let me just grab it because it's right over here. <clears throat> so make sure it's uh, turned off. Here you go. So this kind of rotary cutter I like. A couple things I love about it. Easy to hold. And then it slips uh, back when not in use. So um, if you're not always paying attention, the likeliness of you cutting yourself is reduced because it goes away quickly. Um, and it, it clears a large stack. Or if you're cutting batting, 60 millimeter is the way to go. So why go back? If, it, if you can get the big one, get the big one. Uh, they are an investment. The titanium blades are an investment too. <clears throat> but from what I hear, they definitely uh, do last a little bit longer than regular blades. So um, when I was cutting my three inch sawtooth, it's like, I wonder if I just need to change this blade. And if that thought ever, ever crosses your mind about a needle, whether it be in your sewing machine or in your hand or a cutting blade <clears throat> or a knife when you're, when you're cooking, oh, I wonder if I need to sharpen this blade. Stop what you're doing and do it. It will change your life. It makes things so much easier. <clears throat> Just change the needle. Change the blade. Sharpen your blade. Do what you need to do. But you deserve to have good working tools. So do it. That's why I mean about um, good little snips. You need them. And quite honestly, you, you probably need like four or five of them at a minimum. You know, those things get put down and you forget where you put them. So I'm very pleased with all my purchases. Um, look forward to working on that today because I finished, where did, where did I put it? Where did I put my finish? Oh, right over here. <clears throat> I followed orders. I finished the bunny. <clears throat> it's cute, isn't it? And from this distance, you can't tell that my stitches aren't that great. And they're okay. It's just, it's really bulky. Um, and some of the stitches are, they don't have a consistent tension and they've gotten twisted up, but it's adorable. Look how adorable it is. <clears throat> I can keep showing you this because my mother-in-law will never watch this show. She doesn't even know that I do YouTube. She doesn't even know what YouTube is. She would have no idea how to type the words YouTube.com to even find me. And then once she got there, she wouldn't know how to find me. She doesn't know how to use the search field. And that's okay. Because her life works for her. <clears throat> don't do what you don't want to do. So, my bunny is complete. So that, that means I can go back to Token of Love. Or Token of Fall. But we all know that's not what I'm going to do. I mean, I am going to do that. So I really like that um, that chart, and I'm having a good time sewing it. But Liz Matthews had another um, thing that I didn't bring in, because I, I don't know what I was thinking. Don't know what I was thinking. Um, and it's exclusive for Acorns and Threads, a wonderful needle shop in the or state of Oregon. I don't really, maybe it's Portland. I think it's Portland because they talk about a half yard of linen being a Portland cut or something similar to that. <clears throat> so she did a very cute um, chart exclusive for their anniversary, um, which I will insert here somewhere. Ooh, and it came as a kit, all DMC. So I think I'll throw that on the uh, bars and 
have two projects going. I haven't also worked on anything else other than the rabbit this week. Because I got marching orders and it was up there it's easier than, than moving the frame all around on top of the fact that if I don't get it done soon because <laughs> I still have to fully finish this. So if I didn't get the stitching done soon the chance of me actually getting this fully finished for the holiday was was going to be none. So <clears throat> I'm looking forward to giving the bunny a little wash, getting a little, uh, getting it prepped and ready. And I think I might do a flat fold. Give my hand a try at the old flat fold option instead of doing a frame. We'll see how that goes. Maybe it'll end up getting framed. Who knows? But that is the scoop. So plans. I am <clears throat> going to work on this guy. I want to keep uh, testing out my Sue Daly um, rotating mat. Get those cut up. Um, do a border or two on the, this uh, guy so it's a little bit larger. Um, I need to continue to work on <clears throat> other presents for people who are probably watching. So... Cross your fingers, people. Hope hope I get those done, too. Um, and then um, I, I've decided I want to rewatch the Gilmore Girls. So I think I'm going to turn the Gilmore Girls on, stay in my sewing room for a while. Buster has come in and is napping. Let's see if I can disturb my phone enough to see how cute he is. Look how cute he is. I mean, seriously. That's all you need in life is a napping animal in your sewing room. And then your life is perfect. And you can just breathe a heavy sigh of relief. So I've got three full days left of my vacation. And i um, looking forward to it. It's been, you know, again, it's been a little stressful. It's been a little bit of a little <laughs> scary kind of thing. But then calming down. Um, but it's always a joy to stay in one's pajamas and stay up late, watching lots of movies. I watched the Lord of the Rings extended version, uh, yesterday. Um, and just watch old favorites, get cozy up. It's been gray and gloomy for most of the week, so it's kind of been fun to stay in my slipper socks and drink lots of tea. So I hope that the rest of the week um, is the same for you. I hope you get to be cozy and think of sweet thoughts when you are doing your gifts for other people. Um, I think that's the best part of doing gifts. I'm not good at getting gifts on time, but I do like making gifts for other people and I like thinking about them and sending them good wishes and thinking what they mean to me, blah, 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 blah. Those kinds of fun things, which sounds really, <laughs> um, let's reverse that. I like to think about people as I'm making them their gifts and think about how meaningful they are to my life and, uh, what they bring to me and what I hope they, uh, get out of whatever I'm making them and hope they enjoy it. So that is the sincere answer. Um, and that is all we have for today at Becky's House of Sewing. So hope that you, again, have a good week. Hope you get lots of sewing and get to stay warm and cozy for the rest of the week and get some holiday gifts and sewing done. Bye.